to uh, mount a canvas, a needlepoint canvas, on stretcher bars. You have your already taped canvas and your already assembled stretcher bars, and you simply center the canvas on top of the frame. And then get your handy dandy tacks. And I like to start in the center at the top and just put my tack right there in the middle. Then get it straight, flip it upside down, insert a tack in that center, then go to the side so that you have basically a tack at 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock if you were using a, the face of a clock as a reference. Then you want to make sure that you put a tack in each corner. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you've got everything pulled pretty tight because the purpose of using uh, stretcher bars or a frame is to keep your canvas taut so that you don't stretch it and it doesn't become misshapen during the process of actually stitching it because it's really hard sometimes to get that canvas to square back up when you want to make it into the finished item. So now we have a tack on each corner. Then you're going to come back in the center between between the tack that's in the middle and the tack that's on the corner. You're going to put a tack in between each one of the tacks that you already have in place. And it's going to get you to the point where you're nearly finished. It's really ideal to have your tacks about an inch apart. These will end up being a little bit closer than an, um, an inch apart, but that's okay too. It's always better to err on the side of having too many than not having enough because that'll keep your, your uh, canvas secure much better if you have too many tacks than if you don't have enough. Just continue on until you've gone all the way around all four sides and when you're finished all four sides should have a row of tacks that look very similar to that. Happy stitching! <laughs>